I'm Brad Sherwin, Technical Agronomy and Data Analytics Lead for Landis, and welcome to the Agronomy Minute. Farming is all about risk and reward. Each year you invest money in rent or land payments, seed, herbicide, insecticide, fungicide, and fertilizers. Our job is to help you navigate all the decisions you need to make so you come out ahead financially. Now, in today's episode, we're going to talk about insect watchouts. Here we are in Hamilton County, Iowa, and with the increased acres of cover crops, as well as some planting yet to be completed, there are potentially increased insect risks to be on the lookout for during this spring. Black cutworm, true armyworm, and common stock borer are higher risks with fields that have greened up this spring, especially at risk are acres that are not trait protected for black cutworm. Remember, Double Pro, Roundup Ready, conventional corn does not have activity on black cutworm. So be ready to scout those fields for feeding and cut plants. Now, just a few quick facts on black cutworms and scouting priorities. Number one, black cutworms do not overwinter in Iowa. Moths must be blown in from the south. Number two, they're nocturnal. Scouting in the middle of the day, you may need to dig deeper into cooler, more moist soil to find the larva. They are easier to find in the early morning before the soils warm up. Number three, they prefer to lay eggs in soybean stubble rather than corn residue. Number four, fields heavily infested with winter annuals or cover crops that are not controlled timely are at higher risk for infestations. Number five, to date in Iowa, there have been significant moth captures. Keep an eye out for updates. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for taking time to watch our video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when we post our next video. And lastly, hit that thumbs up so we can bring you more agronomic content. We really appreciate it.